What's up guys, Brian Stanger fans here today. I'll try to get a video across to you right now. We're going to be talking about DOMS, delayed onset, muscle swimming. The thing about today, why today was so crappy is that they uh, they set back the clocks. And what this did is that it moved by one hour. And it's 10.50 right now. And I thought it was about 9.50. 9.55, it's actually 10.55, and I was like, oh crap, I haven't made a video for a long time, I'm not going to use excuses to not make videos, so i give you a question to you guys right now. Now, DOMS, delaying on some of the So, when I think about this, and now I'm going to relate it to my experience with DOMS. So, as you do something over and over again, and... As my, my training, it's, my quote, is intensity is greater than capacity. Make sure that something is short, brief, it's intense, it makes you sweat, it makes you work. And you have nutrition along with that. To build muscle, to increase vascularity, decrease fat, visceral fat. To increase your basal metabolic rate. My training is, is for all that you maintain your body mass index to decrease your body composition, how much fat you do have, and to increase muscle tone. It's about cutting and bulking. That's that, that's how I work. That's all. That's how everything that I do, it applies to that, those, those basic principles. And so I was in school one day, and I was like, hey, why don't I challenge myself? And I did about 100 squats. And the main thing that people do about squats is that they, they just go down right and up, and that your glute... Your gluteus minimus, your gluteus medius, your gluteus maximus is that they're not going to be fully extending. They're not going to be able to stretch and that's that's going to lead them to that they're not going to grow this going and thing when your glutes are not going to be able to grow is that they're going to be really weak. And as we look at any muscle, as we look at that muscle is really weak. It's going to be hard for you to even do a squat to get down, but you have to make sure that you get down, that you hold your hands into your hips, into your psoas and iliacus, you hold it into your hip flexor, your ischium, your pubis, your co coccyx and sacrum, so you hold it, and that you contract your quadratus lumbrum, you contract your calf muscles, which are... Soleus and gastrocnemius, and the major thing about this is that making sure you have a good distance from your feet, and making sure that you're you're bending down as I talk about this. Get in, not anterior, but I want you to get in posterior posture is when you're when you're abducting your limbs. Okay, so as you do that, abduct your limbs as you're going down. So again, they're getting away from your body. They're getting close to the ground. They're going to be protracting, contracting. And your glutes, they're going to be stretching along with your psoas and iliac us really going. To, because it, it's again connected to the gluteus medius, gluteus minimus, gluteus maximus. It's it's connected to the psoas and, and iliacus. They're connected to the glute. And as we involve our we involve our hips, we tuck our pelvic region and we tuck that in is that it's gonna be helping you to do a better and more efficient squat. It's gonna make sure that you build hypertrophy, muscle tone in your glute area. Make sure that it's gonna be so usually the weakest muscle in the body is the glute, as we all know, and we don't really want to work on it. But if you work on it, if you practice your squat, so you put your hands in between your hips, you're going to abduct. And as you abduct your quadratus lumbarum, your soleus and gastrocnemius, the thing that it's going to be doing is that you're going to be protracting, contracting. As you go up, you hit. So you just extend as much as you can. And it's going to be pushing back the calf muscles, the soleus, gastrocnemius. Is that when it's pushing back, it's going to be fully 
protracting. And you're going to be getting full transverse protraction too along with extension, full extension and contraction tightening of the gluteus media so it can expand the muscle fibers and that can expand as again you get into terrible posterior posture and that you're going down you're hitting your glutes up so that they form more together and so that they don't separate you want to make sure that you tighten them same thing even with if you have pectus excavatum you want to make sure you stretch you stretch that muscle and when you stretch that muscle you'll notice muscle tone you'll notice hypertrophy you're gaining that certain muscular region if you stretch and you apply Nutrition, you're getting blood vessels, muscle fibers are developing along with biosynthesis. You're releasing the energy from food, micronutrients, macronutrients, macrominerals, and the catabolic breakdowns. You're getting it up to the anabolic breakdowns. Biosynthesis works along with the metabolic side being produced by the basal metabolic rate, and that's going to affect how efficient that the muscle fibers, the simple muscle fibers, turn into complex muscle fibers. But I'm just that. Aids in the development, aids in the growth and reproduction of muscle fibers to again make sure that the blood vessels are supporting your muscles, again, the action to your muscles, and you're getting this nourishment to you. You release energy in the catabolic breakdown, you require energy in the anabolic breakdown to usually gain in that muscular, in that area, to expand the muscle fibers in that so your muscle grows. And, and good nourishment is the major, major key in this. And as I was Going through a squat as you're hitting your glutes up, you're going down like this, tucking your hips in. That's the main major thing in my my squat video. I tell you guys all about this, and just go in my squat video right now. It, it's one of my my one of my first videos that I made on YouTube. But we're going to talk about DOMS. Now, what is DOMS? Is when you're when you're really confusing your muscles, you're doing something really difficult. And the thing about delayed onset muscle soreness is that from getting so much occlusion, the blockage of letting blood vessels get to the muscles when you go when you you're going so hard, if your muscles can't take it and then they get sore, it's, it's too much pressure, too much tension, too much contraction, pro traction is that they're going to get sore. And with nourishment, with correct nourishment. And correct intensity training is that these are going to recover. Your muscles are going to recover again if you eat healthy. Is if you maintain your body mass index levels, decrease your body composition levels, increase your muscle tone, your hypertrophy, basal metabolic rate, your vascularity. Is that if if you do all these things that I'm telling you guys to do, is that DOMS is going to go away, and that you're going to experience hypertrophy, gaining in a certain muscle group, having muscle tone. Is that this is what it's telling? This is what it's telling you. DOMS is telling you that your muscles, they've had enough, and when, when you've you've done so much, and you basically you're making it so hard in that certain like my when I was doing the hundred squats one day, I was making it so hard on my hip flexors, I was making it so hard on my quadriceps lum, lumbarum, I was making it so hard on my soleus, gastric anemia, so I was making it hard on my TFL, my rectus femur, so I was making it hard on my iliac. Crest, I was making it on my iliacus, my psoas. I was making it on my sartorius. I was making it on all those things. And once you do that, you're going to be confusing the muscle. You're going to be giving it something that's never been given before. And it's, it's really going to develop. It's going to grow when it sees something new. And the thing about that is delayed onset muscle soreness. That when your muscles get sore from doing too much, and when you have amazing nourishment, this is going to be a sign that you're going to gain hypertrophy, you're going to be increasing vascularity, decreasing fat levels. As you push the fat out, you get the muscle in, get the visibility in. Either we're talking about the abdominal structure, we're talking about the biceps, triceps, deltoids, and either if we're talking about the sternocleidomastoid, if we're talking about anything, any muscle, like if we're talking about the strepospinatus, if we're talking about brachiolus, biceps, and the shoulder, also, if, if we're talking about any of that, is that the thing that you're going to be really confusing that muscle and you're going to make it gain, you're going to make it do something it's never done before and that when it's having so much done to it, it's going to recover sooner again with nutrition is that 
your catabolic breakdowns is that the thing that it's doing is that you really, the food's releasing the energy and they're requiring the energy and the anabolic breakdowns and the biosynthesis is what's really making you gain the muscle fibers, expanding the muscle fibers so you can gain that certain muscular group. And this explains DLMS, delayed onset muscle soreness, is when, again, in the catabolic breakdowns, we go back to that, you're releasing energy and that, and you're basically building your muscle fibers, you're making it hard for them, you make, you're going through biosynthesis, and biosynthesis is making sure that your muscle fibers is that they're toughening up, that your muscles are toughening up, and that it's going to be really hard for them, but they're going to get through it, and as long as you have good nourishment, guys, you have, you have good nutrition, and that you keep doing what you do, deal with MS, it's going to be something you know is regular, but it, it's really going to be decreasing your fat levels, decreasing your body composition, maintaining your biomass index, you're going to be increasing your muscle, the growth of that certain muscle, the reproduction of muscle fibers, you're going to be building upon your basal metabolic rate, you're going to be making sure these blood vessels, that it's getting into occlusion, where this leads into delayed onset muscle soreness, is that when the blood vessels cannot be supported to, cannot support oxygen to the muscles, and when they, when they cut off that flow, is that they're not going to rely on anything, and it's just going to be relying on your your act is going to be lying on you about how much work you can do yourself. And that's the video to tell you guys about delaying onset muscle soreness. I just want to make sure to get this across to you. I haven't gotten this across to you in any video yet. And again, it's confusing muscles, doing something different for your muscles, and it's making them confused, but at the same time, it's growing the muscle fibers. The biosynthesis is really going to be reacting at this point because your muscle fibers, your muscle fibers is that they're not going to be simple. And you the point where I'm going to make an analogy, a comparison. So you're doing the same exercise over and over again, and you're not getting delayed on muscle soreness. Soreness is something that you get when you're about to reach hypertrophy, muscle tone, vascularity, increasing your basal metabolic rate, you're decreasing your body composition, and maintaining your biomass index. And all these things, as I, as I talk about, this is the major thing. And bye, guys. Brand Stick Fitness out. And we're going to be doing this on... Uh, I left off in the one video, but I'm going to be doing this song. So, and if that video en ends, guys, if I get a song to across to you guys, I'm going to be really mad. But I'd say the song I'm going to do is, let's think about one that I really haven't, you know, Rocks in the treetop all day long, hopping and bobbing and singing this song. All the birds on G birds tree love to hear the robin go tweet tweet tweet. Rock and robin, rock and robin, go rock and robin, cause you're really gonna rock tonight. Every little swall, every chickadee, every little bird in the tall oak tree, the wise old owl, the big black crow, flapping their wings, saying, Go bird, go. Rock and Robin, rock and Robin, go rock and Robin, cause we're really gonna rock tonight. And if you, if you guys think my voice is sexy, if you think it's masculine, then again, hit me up in, in girls, hit me up in the comment section below. I'm always there. If if I see a Gwen, if I see a Gwen Tennyson anywhere, then make sure that I'm gonna become a child molester, is that I'm gonna get her. And just know that. I'm going to be giving Gwen the 10, as I like to call it, the Ben 10. Okay, I'm joking, guys, but I, I try to be funny all the time. And the thing about this is that I, it's it's really hard for me to be funny. I, I cut myself today. I cut myself with a knife. I cut it all across my thumb. It fell off. My thumb fell off. I'm just joking. If I were to ever cut myself, then I'd do it, like, really brutal. I'd, like, i literally, like, fucking rip out my arteries. That's how you gotta do it when you're depressed. I'm just joking, guys. I'm, tr <laughs> I'm trying to get this video across to you guys as fast as I can. Bye, guys. Bye, second, so.